So hello Jake, I'm Josh or JP and this is my audition for your non-binary humans thing, if you can call it an audition because that sounds incredibly formal. I am currently 20 years old and I spend my time divided between my university town in North Wales and a small village of 300 people in Cheshire. My gender identity is fairly simple to explain, I would say a gender, because I don't feel particularly male or female. I just feel like me to tell the truth, so why bother labelling it? I just don't play with gender in my eyeway. Though, I suppose I do occasionally put on makeup and nail polish, although none right now because it's all packed ready to go back to my new house in a few weeks. My sexuality then typically is a bit more of a mouthful. When I'm talking to most people, I will just say gay or more often gay is the ace of spades, which is one of my favourite phrases. That's merely to preserve what's left of my sanity because trying to explain the performativity of gender roles is a bitch. I would specifically go for a demi-androsexual and panromantic. I say androsexual because rather than solely being attracted to men it's masculine traits I'm interested in. These can be in cisgendered men but it can also be on particularly masculine women or trans men or anyone who's just a little bit masculine. I can't really explain it. Now as for three things about me, the first is I'm a writer. I have a way with the written words which without meaning to sound particularly big-headed is fantastic. I am very very good. I know it sounds like I'm just bragging but I'm not. I have been objectively told that it's good by teachers and by a few agents I've sent stuff off to. They like. I mostly write science fiction and fantasy which are my favourites. I'm heavily influenced by Sir Terry Pratchett whose books I have all along the wall behind me and a lot all over the place as well because there's over 70 of them. But I also have recently branched out into non-fiction attempting to educate people and to make them laugh and just generally to try and improve the way people live their lives whether or not by actually causing positive change or just making them happy and What's wrong with that? The second interesting thing about myself is that my childhood nickname was Nemo, although nowadays I think Dory would be more appropriate because I just love to swim. I will spend any amount of time in the water that I can. It just makes me so happy in the fact that someone as large as myself and as bulky and uncoordinated can be just as good as anybody else who swims when they're in the water. I mean, I could have been good at rugby and I was, but we didn't have a proper team at school. And I used to spend any amount of time in the water that I could and to this day, the nickname has stuck. The third interesting thing about me then is that I have a pet rock called Bernard. Bernard is an interesting story. You see, when I was in the Beavers, which if you're not sure, though I'm fairly sure you might be, is the prelude to the Cubs and then the prelude to the Scouts that, from the Scouting Movement. Beavers is for six years to eight years old and we had to do our animal friend badge, but no responsible adults in their right minds will give animals to six-year-olds, seven-year-olds and eight-year-olds, especially when they're all boys, because something bad is going to happen. So instead they all gave us pet rocks to look after, and I've still got mine and I covered it in glitter and things. It used to be rainbow coloured when I was going through my um, coming out phase, but I thought this would be much prettier now. Still got him. Almost, ooh, 13 years later. Bernard is very strange, but it makes me happy. I could probably wait around for ages about me, but to be honest, you don't need to hear it. If you're at all interested in letting me help out with the project, please let me know, because it's something that I care passionately about. When I was coming out as gay, that was all I knew there was, really. I'd never even heard of transgender being a concept. I knew that there were some people who like to wear dresses, but I had no idea that they actually felt like women on the inside, that they were women. It was just someone wearing a dress. And I didn't realise that there were such things as bisexuality, or any genders that exist beyond male and female, and trying to explain that to other people now can be very difficult. So if there were something like this project when I was a kid, I would have loved to be a part of it, to have it. And seeing as there's only just coming about now, I will do everything I can to make sure that the next lot of kids have something like it. That's why I'm helping out with Ashley Mardell's ABCs of LGBT book as well. I'm really enjoying going through it and helping to come up with the best terms and proofread it for her. It's fantastic. I would give you a musical or dance number, but to be fair, 
I can't sing anymore. I used to sing soprano at school, but my voice has dropped a lot and it's rather disappointing. The only way I know how to sing is as I did as a child and that's no longer an option. Still heavy, but we can only work with what we've got. I'm trying to learn the ukulele, but that's a very slow business. Um, slightly autistic and it, it takes me a while to figure out how to do the positioning. I believe that's it. So, I hope you'll get back to me when you're done. Tatty bye.